The French educational system is highly centralized and organized, with many subdivisions. It is divided into the three stages of enseignement primaire primary education, enseignement secondaire secondary education, and enseignement supérieur higher education. In French higher education, the following degrees are recognized by the Bologna process EU recognition, license and license professionnel bachelor's degrees, and the comparably named master and doctorate degrees. History Napoleon launched the university and secondary educational systems to Napoleon. Gizo started the elementary system. Intense battles took place over whether the Catholic Church should play a dominant role. The modern era of French education begins at the end of the 19th century. Jules Ferry, a minister of public instruction in the 1880s, is widely credited for creating the modern school by requiring all children between the ages of 6 and 12, both boys and girls, to attend. He also made public instruction mandatory, free of charge, and secular like. With these laws, known as French Lubbers, Jules Ferry Laws, and several others, the Third Republic repealed most of the Falu laws of 1850–1851, which gave an important role to the clergy. Governance <inaudible> 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 All educational programs in France are regulated by the Ministry of National Education officially called Ministère de l'Éducation Nationale, de la Jeunesse et de la Vie Associative. The head of the ministry is the Minister of National Education. The teachers in public primary and secondary schools are all state civil servants, making the ministère the largest employer in the country. Professors and researchers in France's universities are also employed by the state. At the primary and secondary levels, the curriculum is the same for all French students in any given grade, which includes public, semi-public and subsidized institutions. However, there exist specialized sections and a variety of options that students can choose. The reference for all French educators is the Bulletin Officiel de l'Education Nationale, de l'Enseignement Supérieur et de la Recherche which lists all current programs and teaching directives. It is amended many times every year. Topic: <inaudible> School year. In metropolitan France, the school year runs from early September to early July. The school calendar is standardized throughout the country and is the sole domain of the ministry. In May, schools need time to organize exams, for example, the baccalauréat. Outside metropolitan France, the school calendar is set by the local rector. Major holiday breaks are as follows All Saints La Toussaint, two weeks since 2012 around the end of October and the beginning of November Christmas Noel, two weeks around Christmas Day and New Year's Day Winter Hiver, two weeks starting in mid-February Spring Printemps or Easter Pax, two weeks starting in mid-April Summer ete, two months starting in early July, mid-June for high school students. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Primary school. Schooling in France is not mandatory, but instruction is. Most parents start sending their children to preschool, maternelle, when they turn three. Some even start earlier at age two in tout petite section, TPS. The first two years of preschool TPS and petite section PS are introductions to community living. Children learn how to become students and are introduced to their first notions of arithmetic, begin to recognize scripture, develop oral language, etc. The last two years of preschool, moyenne section and grande section, are more school-like. Pupils are introduced to reading, writing and more mathematics. A preschool can have its own school zone mostly true in towns or be affiliated to an elementary school mostly in villages. As in other educational systems, French primary school students usually have a single teacher or two who teaches the complete curriculum. After kindergarten, the young students move on to the école élémentaire elementary school. In the first three years of elementary school, they learn to write, develop their reading skills and get some basics in subjects such as French, mathematics, science and the arts, to name a few. 
Note that the French word for a teacher at the primary school level is professeur or professeur des écoles previously called institutor, or its feminine form institutrice. Children stay in elementary school for five years until they are 10 to 11 years old. The grades are named, CP Cours Préparatoire, CE1 Cours Elementaire 1, CE2 Cours Elementaire 2, CM1 Cours Moyen 1 and CM2 Cours Moyen 2. Middle school and high school After primary school, two educational stages follow College middle school, for children during their first four years of secondary education from the age of 11 to 15. Lycée high school, which provides a three-year course of further secondary education for children between the ages of 15 and 18. Pupils are prepared for the baccalauréat baccalaureate, colloquially known as le BAC or the CAP Certificate d'Aptitude Professionnelle. The baccalauréat can lead to higher education studies or directly to professional life. CFA Center de Formation des Apprentices, Apprentice Learning Center, which provides vocational degrees, le Certificate d'Aptitude Professionnelle. Topic: International Education. As of January 2015, the International Schools Consultancy ISC listed France as having 105 international schools. ISC defines an international school in the following terms. ISC includes an international school if the school delivers a curriculum to any combination of preschool, primary or secondary students, wholly or partly in English outside an English-speaking country, or if a school in a country where English is one of the official languages, offers an English medium curriculum other than the country's national curriculum and is international in its orientation. This definition is used by publications including The Economist. France has its own international school regulator, the AEFE, Agence pour l'enseignement français à l'étranger. Topic: Higher education. Higher education in France is organized in three levels, which correspond to those of other European countries, facilitating international mobility, the licence and licence professionnelle bachelor's degrees, and the master's and doctorate degrees. The licence and the master are organized in semesters, six for the licence and four for the master. These levels of study include various parcours or paths based on UE unités d'enseignement or modules, each worth a defined number of European credits ECTS, a student accumulates these credits, which are generally transferable between paths. A license is awarded once 180 ECTS have been obtained, a master is awarded once 120 additional credits have been obtained. License and master's degrees are offered within specific domains and carry a specific mention. Spatialités which are either research-oriented or professionally oriented during the second year of the master. There are also professional licenses whose objective is immediate job integration. It is possible to later return to school through continuing education or to validate professional experience through VAE, validation des acquis de l'experience. Higher education in France is divided between grandes écoles and public universities. The Grandes Écoles admit the graduates of the level baccalauréat plus two years of validated study or sometimes directly after the baccalauréat whereas universities admit all graduates of the baccalauréat. A striking trait of French higher education, compared with other countries, is the small size and multiplicity of establishments, each specialized in a more or less broad spectrum of areas. A middle-sized French city, such as Grenoble or Nancy, may have two or three universities focused on science or sociological studies and also a number of engineering and other establishments specialized higher education. In Paris and its suburbs there are 13 universities, none of which is specialized in one area or another, and a large number of smaller institutions that are highly specialized. It is not uncommon for graduate teaching programs master's degrees, the course part of PhD programs etc. to be operated in common by several institutions, allowing the institutions to present a larger variety of courses. In engineering schools and the professional degrees of universities, a large share of the teaching staff is often made up of non-permanent professors, instead, part-time professors are hired to teach one only specific subject. 
The part-time professors are generally hired from neighboring universities, research institutes or industries. Another original feature of the French higher education system is that a large share of the scientific research is carried out by research establishments such as CNRS or INSERM, which are not formally part of the universities. However, in most cases, the research units of those establishments are located inside universities or other higher education establishments and jointly operated by the research establishment and the university. Topic. Tuition costs Since higher education is funded by the state, the fees are very low. The tuition varies from €150 Euros to €700 Euros depending on the university and the different levels of education, license, master, doctorate. One can therefore get a master's degree in five years for about €750 Euros minus 3,500. Additionally, students from low-income families can apply for scholarships, paying nominal sums for tuition or textbooks, and can receive a monthly stipend of up to €450 Euros per month. The tuition in public engineering schools is comparable to universities, albeit a little higher around €700. Euros. However it can reach €7,000 a year for private engineering schools, and some business schools, which are all private or partially private, charge up to €15,000 a year. Health insurance for students is free until the age of 20 so only the costs of living and books have to be added. After the age of 20, the health insurance for students costs €200 Euros a year and cover most of the medical expenses. Some public schools have other ways of gaining money. Some do not receive sufficient funds from the government for class trips and other extra activities and so these schools may ask for a small optional entrance fee for new students. Universities in France The public universities in France are named after the major cities near which they are located, followed by a numeral if there are several. Paris, for example, has 13 universities, labelled Paris I to 13. Some of these are not in Paris itself, but in the suburbs. In addition, most of the universities have taken a more informal name which is usually that of a famous person or a particular place. Sometimes, it is also a way to honor a famous alumnus, for example the Science University in Strasbourg is known as Université Louis Pasteur, while its official name is Université Strasbourg I. However, since 2009, the three universities of Strasbourg have been merged. The French system has undergone a reform, the Bologna process, which aims at creating European standards for university studies, most notably a similar time frame everywhere, with three years devoted to the bachelor's degree. License, in French, two for the master's, and three for the doctorate. French universities have also adopted the ECTS credit system, for example, a license is worth 180 credits. However, the traditional curriculum based on end of semester examinations still remains in place in most universities. This double standard has added complexity to a system which also remains quite rigid. It is difficult to change a major during undergraduate studies without losing a semester or even a whole year. Students usually also have few course selection options once they enroll in a particular diploma. France also hosts various branch colleges of foreign universities. These include Baruch College, the University of London Institute in Paris, Parsons Paris School of Art and Design and the American University of Paris. Grandes Écoles The Grandes Écoles of France are elite higher education establishments. They are generally focused on a single subject area e.g., engineering or business, have a small size typically between 100 and 300 graduates per year, and are highly selective. They are widely regarded as prestigious, and most of France's scientists and executives have graduated from a Grande École. National rankings are published every year by various magazines. While these rankings slightly vary from year to year, the top grandes écoles have been very stable for decades. Science and Engineering, Écoles Normales Supérieures, École Polytechnique, Mines Paristech, ISAE Supero and Centrally Sapelic. Humanities, Three Écoles Normales Supérieures and École des Charts. Business, HEC Paris, ESSEC Business School, ESCP Europe, INSEAD, EMLION, Audencia and EDHEC 
Administration and Political Sciences, ENA and Sciences Po. Topic: Preparatory Classes (CPGEs). The preparatory classes in French, classes préparatoires aux grandes écoles, or CPGE, widely known as prépas, is a prep course with the main goal of training students for enrollment in a grande école. Admission to CPGEs is based on performance during the last two years of high school, called premier and terminal. Only 5% of a generation is admitted to a prépa. CPGEs are usually located within high schools but pertain to tertiary education, which means that each student must have successfully passed their baccalaureate or equivalent to be admitted in a CPGE. Each CPGE receives applications from hundreds of applicants worldwide every year in April and May, and selects students based on its own criteria. A few CPGEs, mainly the private ones which account for 10% of CPGEs, also have an interview process or look at a student's involvement in the community. The ratio of CPGE students who fail to enter any grande école is lower in scientific and business CPGEs than in humanities CPGEs. Topic: Scientific CPGEs. The oldest CPGEs are the scientific ones, which can only be accessed by scientific bachelors. Scientific CPGE are called TSI, Technology and Engineering Science, MPSI, Mathematics, Physics and Engineering Science, PCSI, Physics, Chemistry and Engineering Science, or PTSI. Physics, Technology, and Engineering Science. In the first year, MP. Mathematics and Physics. Psi. Physics and Engineering Science. PC. Physics and Chemistry. Or PT. Physics and Technology. In the second year and BCPST. Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Life and Earth Sciences. First year CPGE students are called the. Math SUP or hypotope sup for class de mathématiques supérieures superior in french meaning post high school and second years math spe or tope space standing for class de mathématiques spéciales special in french the students of these classes are called topins both the first and second year programs include as much as 12 hours of mathematics teaching per week, 10 hours of physics, 2 hours of philosophy, 2 to 4 hours of one or two foreign languages teaching and 4 to 6 hours of options, either chemistry, SI engineering industrial science or theoretical computer science including some programming using the Pascal or CAML programming languages, as a practical work. With this is added several hours of homework, which can rise as much as the official hours of class. A known joke among those students is that they are becoming moles for two years, sometimes three. This is actually the origin of the nicknames Tope and Topin, Tope being the French word for a mole. <laughs> <laughs> Business CPGEs There are also CPGE which are focused on economics who prepare the admission in business schools. These are known as Prépa EC, short for Economiques et Commerciales, and are divided into two parts: Prépa ECS, which focuses more on mathematics, generally for those who graduated the scientific baccalaureate, and Prépa ECE, which focuses more on economics for those who were in the economics section in high school. Topic: <laughs> Humanities CPGEs, Hypocane and Kane. The literary and humanities CPGEs have also their own nicknames, Hypocane for the first year and Kane for the second year. The students are called the Cognu. These classes prepare for schools such as the three écoles normales supérieures, the École des Charts, and sometimes Sciences Po. There are two kinds of canes. The Cane de Lettres is the most common, and focuses on philosophy, French literature, history and languages. The Cane de Lettres et Sciences Sociales Literature and Social Sciences, otherwise called Cane B. L., also includes mathematics and socio-economic sciences in addition to those literary subjects. 
The students of Hypocane and Kane the humanities CPGE are simultaneously enrolled in universities, and can go back to university in case of failure or if they feel unable to pass the highly competitive entrance examinations for the Écoles Normales Supérieures. Coles The amount of work required of the students is exceptionally high. In addition to class time and homework, students spend several hours each week completing oral exams called coles sometimes written coles is to look like a Greek word, this way of writing being initially a cognus joke, since cognus study ancient Greek. The coles are unique to French academic education in CPGEs. In scientific and business CPGEs, coles consist of oral examinations twice a week, in French, foreign languages usually English, German, or Spanish, maths, physics, philosophy, or geopolitics—depending on the type of CPGE. Students, usually in groups of three or four, spend an hour facing a professor alone in a room, answering questions and solving problems. In humanities CPGEs, coles are usually taken every quarter in every subject. Students have one hour to prepare a short presentation that takes the form of a French-style dissertation a methodologically codified essay, typically structured in three parts, thesis, counter-thesis, and synthesis in history, philosophy, etc. on a given topic, or the form of a commentaire composé a methodologically codified commentary in literature and foreign languages. In ancient Greek or Latin, they involve a translation and a commentary. The student then has 20 minutes to present his, her work to the teacher, who finally asks some questions on the presentation and on the corresponding topic. Coles are regarded as very stressful, particularly due to the high standards expected by the teachers, and the subsequent harshness that may be directed at students who do not perform adequately. But they are important insofar as they prepare the students, from the very first year, for the oral part of the highly competitive examinations, which are reserved for the happy few who successfully pass the written part. Topic. Recruitment of teachers Decades ago, primary school teachers were educated in écoles normales and secondary teachers recruited through the aggregation examination. The situation has been diversified by the introduction in the 1950s of the CAPES examination for secondary teachers and in the 1990s by the institution of Instituts Universitaires de Formation des Maters. IUFM, which have recently been renamed Écoles Supérieures du Professorat et de l'Education University teachers are recruited by special commissions, and are divided between teachers researchers, enseignants chercheurs, with at least a doctorate, they teach classes and conduct research in their field of expertise with a full tenure. They are either maître de conférences senior lecturers, or professors professors. Only a professor can be the director of studies for a PhD student. The net pay is from 2300 to 8800 with extra duties euros per month. Net salaries of over 4000 euros per month 2011 level are however very unusual and limited to the small minority of teacher researchers who have held the grade of first class full professor for at least 7 years which is rare. The maximum possible net salary for second-class full professors and chief senior lecturers maitre de conférence or class. The end of career status for most full-time teacher researchers in French universities is €3,760 a month 2011, and only a minority of this group ever reach this level. Secondary school teachers who have been permanently assigned away from their original school position to teach in a university. They are not required to conduct any research but teach twice as many hours as the teachers researchers. They are called PRAG professors agrégés and PRCE professors certifiés. Their weekly service is 15 or 18 hours. The net pay is from 1,400 to 3,900 euros per month. CPGE teachers are usually agrégés or chair sup. Assigned by the Inspection General according to their qualifications and competitive exam rank as well as other factors. Their weekly service is about 9 hours a week, 25 or 33 weeks a year. Net pay, from 2,000 to 7,500 euro extra hours. Primary school and kindergarten teachers professors des écoles, educated in Instituts universitaires de formation des maters. 
IUFM, have usually a master BAC plus 5. Their weekly service is about 28 hours a week. Topic. Religion Religious instruction is not given by public schools except for 6- to 18-year-old students in Alsace-Moselle under the Concordat of 1801. Laicite is one of the main precepts of the French Republic. In a March 2004 ruling, the French government banned all conspicuous religious symbols from schools and other public institutions with the intent of preventing proselytization and to foster a sense of tolerance among ethnic groups. Some religious groups showed their opposition, saying the law hindered the freedom of religion as protected by the French constitution. Statistics <inaudible> 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 The French Republic has 67 million inhabitants, living in the 13 regions of metropolitan France and four overseas departments 2.7 million. Despite the fact that the population is growing up 0.4% a year, the proportion of young people under 25 is falling. There are now fewer than 19 million young people in metropolitan France, or 32% of the total population, compared with 40% in the 1970s and 35% at the time of the 1990 census. France is seeing a slow aging of the population, less marked however than in other neighboring countries such as Germany and Italy, especially as the annual number of births is currently increasing slightly. 18 million pupils and students, i.e. a quarter of the population, are in the education system. Of these, over 2.4 million are in higher education. The French education minister reported in 2000 that 39 out of 75,000 state schools were seriously violent, and 300 were somewhat violent. Topic. See also. Academic grading in France Agency for French Teaching Abroad Agence pour l'enseignement français à l'étranger Campus France Agency for the Promotion of French Higher Education Conférence des Grandes Écoles CGE Commission des Titres d'Ingénieurs Comité d'études sur les formations d'ingénieurs Conference of the Directors of French Engineering Schools Conférence des Directeurs des Écoles Françaises d'Ingénieurs CDEFI Homeschooling in France Open Access in France